Aloha. Thank you for taking time to listen. I've received a copy of an anonymous letter that was sent to the police commission alleging misuse and mismanagement of federal COVID funds. In the interest of transparency and to make sure the truth is told, I'm releasing this video and a copy of the anonymous letter that was sent. Let me assure you that there was no misuse or mismanagement of COVID funds. These monies were used to purchase safety equipment and equipment to assist in the enforcement of COVID related activities as well as enforcement of the proclamation. First, the officers worked the overtime, but what they did was that they did not follow internal guidelines that was set by the department. These guidelines were put in place to make sure that the officers did not overwork and become fatigued. This violation was of departmental guidelines and was discovered by the department when an audit was performed to make sure the officers were abiding by the guidelines that were set. As soon as the violations were discovered, immediate action was taken. There were four allegations of four officers who did not work their entire shift. This happened once and was confined to one district and one shift in which these four officers were part of a team. The rest of the team is being fully investigated to make sure that they did not have a part of this as well. And once again, this information was obtained from an internal process that the department has in place. Let me assure you that the officers who are involved, they've had their police powers removed and reassigned from their district. Also, no city funds are being used to pay overtime for COVID enforcement. All enforcement is being done by on-duty officers. And the rest of this letter are just suggestions about how to run the, the uh, COVID program, the COVID enforcement program. All of these suggestions were already being done. Yes, I do take full responsibility for the officers, supervisors, and command staff for not doing their jobs. I do have high expectations from my commanders that they run their districts in a lawful and ethical way and follow all policies and procedures of the department. They will also be held accountable in this ongoing investigation for their failure to ensure that their officers follow departmental policies, procedures, and guidelines. There will always be people who do not agree but every decision that we make is for the safety of the community and the safety of the officers. Mahalo for taking time to listen and remember to wear your mask, social distance, and limit your gatherings. Together, we can beat COVID. Thank you for taking the time.